Good evening, Carla. Um, good evening, Mariela. How are you good today? Evening. I'm fine. Good. How was your day? I was busy? Uh, no. No? Normal. <laughs> Not much. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're about, we have three minutes. Good day, Mariela. Good evening. How are you? Uh, good evening. Good. Hay un poco mejor. Un poco mejor. Ok, que me alegra escuchar sí. que hace un poco mejor. Sí, gracias. Ok, con lo, el contenido del día de ayer y eh, cómo se llama, no se preocupe porque vamos a hacer, siempre hay un repaso. We are going to make a little review what we have uh, discussed yesterday, right? So don't worry about that. So we're going to, also we are going to check uh, the vocabulary that we learn and uh, some other verbs. And I will continue with the structure that we covered yesterday. Okay, so esperemos dos minutos, que ya faltan dos minutos para las ocho. En mi reloj, ya casi empezamos. Okay. Good evening, Jenny. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good. good. about you? Great, thank you, very good. Ready to start the class. Okay, we have um, eight sharp right now. Hello, Davis, how are you? Okay, so we're going to start uh, right now and I will just to share the screen uh, for the presentation that we have today. Okay, let me just share the screen. And let me know if you can see the screen, please. That. You can see it. Okay, very good. So today is the four day. So we're going to video conference number four. We're going to go to the vocabulary practice. Okay, so we're going to in this in this class we're going to learn uh, some core values, the company's core values. Okay, and what it represents those values for the company. Okay, we have. Uh, this is the class objective at the end of the class. A student will be uh, able to explain the impact of core values in the company culture and its employees. That is the class objective for today. Uh, so as always, we're going to make a warm up, which is a review of the last session. We are going to get a little more deeper about the passive voice. Okay, how you construct a uh, passive voice, okay? We go over to some questions, so we are going to make a discussion of them. Uh, we are going to uh, practice a conversation, and then we are going to discuss some other questions. We go over some uh, company's values, and uh, we are going to make a little presentation about those values. 
And at the end, we are going to make a review. As of now, we're going to get in groups. Let me just see. Uh, I'm going to discuss the topics that we covered yesterday, last session, right? Yesterday, Wednesday. And uh, we're going to um, make a list of vocabulary you learn, and then uh, you need to uh, show up what you have discussed. I will stop sharing this. And let me go over to this. Okay, uh, good evening, Erica. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Okay, so as I mentioned before, uh, Erica, vamos a trabajar en grupos, o en este caso en parejas. Eh, vamos a discutir lo que vimos el día de ayer, las estructuras y listar el vocabulario que se aprendió el día de ayer. Y después vamos a discutir con toda la clase que es lo que, eh, si hay alguna duda, si hay algún refuerzo en pronunciación, something like that. Uh, thank you for joining us, Wendy. Ok, uh, voy a hacer eh, las parejas, vamos a trabajar en parejas por, por, el, eh, por los participantes que tenemos ahorita. Ok, we're going to make in pairs. Let me just... Ok. Let's do it in this way. Martes sí. vimos eh, cómo usar el verbo con el ing, eh, bajo qué condiciones lo podemos usar. Entonces, una condición es que se usa un verbo con ing después de una preposición. Entonces, usted tiene que saber cuáles son las preposiciones en inglés y después de una preposición. Entonces tiene que utilizar el verbo en inglés, en inglés, en, con ing. Luego, eh, eso, digamos, básicamente fue lo que vimos el martes. Ayer miércoles eh, vimos el, la voz pasiva, se llama passive voice. Eso fue lo que vimos ayer. Que, ¿Cómo se construye, digamos, o cómo se reconoce una voz pasiva? Es el verbo to be conjugado en presente o en pasado. Y se le suma un verbo más que tiene que estar conjugado en participio pasado. Entonces así se arma el passive voice. Y por ejemplo, si usted entra, ya le digo qué página es. Tiene su como libro de apoyo ahí a la mano. También vimos sobre las... How, cómo la compañía, hablábamos eso de la compañía, cómo la compañía, how, vamos a ver, aquí creo que esta es la palabra. Vamos a ver, cómo la compañía podía ganar reputación, era la... Ajá. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. Creo que es decía la página 15 era, ¿verdad? Sí, la página 15. 15 de How do business build their reputation? Esa era la palabra. Oh. ¿Cómo la compañía podía tener prestigio? How do business businesses Businesses. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I, I do businesses. Businesses build their reputation. Their... Y 
Y el nuevo vocabulario, the new vocabulary. A ver. Con ING. Ok. De ayer está en un estado de muchos verbos en las diferentes conjugaciones. Presente, pasado y pasado, participio. Ok. Okay. Son un montón de verbos voy a bueno, eh, que sería bueno que aprendérselos porque le ayudan mucho sí. a uno. Ajá. Entonces, digamos que así a grosso modo, eso es lo que hemos visto en estos días pasados. A ver, muchas gracias. Voy a ver si no tengo problemas para entrar a la plataforma. No para repasar entrar. también. Fíjense que no he intentado la primera vez y me dio acceso. Pero uh -huh. como he estado con fiebre, entonces ya no quise estar ni en el teléfono. Ah, Ajá. estaba enferma. Sí, por eso es que no pude asistir a estas dos clases. Ah, ya. Pero ya se siente mejor. Un poco. Uh -huh. Todavía estoy con calentura, pero ahí estoy. Ah, no, pero le debería decir a él, porque si en lo que va avanzando la clase se siente mal, igual pues tampoco es que tenga que sacrificarme mucho, sacrificarse mucho, porque cuando uno tiene calentura necesita reposo. Sí, pero ahí estamos por lo menos para que no se pierda la continuidad. <risa> sí. Uh -huh. Porque pero después no. me va a costar. No, pero cada día, o sea, ya cuando se sienta un poco mejor, tal vez en vacaciones, no sé si va a tener vacaciones de agosto. Entonces, ahí están, ya vamos a regresar. Ahí es, pero ahí están las clases okay. para que usted las, las vea. Ok, guys, vamos a esperar a uh, que los demás se eh, ingresen. Quedan 30 segundos. En todo lo que ellos ingresan, ¿is there any question regarding what we saw yesterday? Just remember uh, that we're going to make a review. So we are doing a review about that. And uh, also we are going to make some exercises continuing with the passive voice. Okay, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, chicos. So, what do you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué se acuerdan del día de ayer? Yes, someone? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, siempre que dice about this, como sobre o, o, o. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Es algunos vocabularios que no, no conocíamos. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo. Okay. Good. Okay. What else? What else do you remember, guys? Absolutely. As absolutely. Very good. That is absolutamente, right? Okay, very good. What else? Imagine. Rated. Okay, rated. Very good. Okay, Daniel, podría encender su cámara, por favor. Gracias. Yes. Manufactured, ¿verdad? Manufactures, that's correct. Es, remember, manufacture is the la empresa que diseña y produce, pero no solo eso, sino que produce a gran escala. Ok, por ejemplo, la constancia. That they manufacture beverages, right? Porque hacen, la distribuyen y, y es en masa la, la, el producto que hacen de todas las bebidas. Que es la, un, bueno, la única empresa grande que hay distribución de bebidas. No solamente, acuérdense que es la constancia es agua, es gaseosa, son jugos, bebidas alcohólicas, bebidas no alcohólicas, and so on. Okay, there are different products. Okay, very good. 
Okay. Uh, okay, let's move on uh, to the first question in this here. Okay, so how, what do you remember about the passive voice? What do you remember about that? When the, use the passive voice, mm -hmm. uh, we need to use the be bird and the regular verb. And the regular verb, right? In this case, is uh, yes, it's a regular verb, but that needs to be in the past participle. Okay, and la, en ya se subió el video del día de ayer, so the video has been uploaded. So in the description in the photo, so you can find the list of verbs that we have. I will share the this screen. Let me just move in on to this part. Let me know when you can see this. We can see. Yes. Okay. So this list is already uploaded in a video number three. Okay. Pueden ir a la plataforma and you can find this one in the comments. Okay. So I, um, I already made a, a, a request that you create your own passive voice, right? So tiene que crear una voz pasiva, solo una. Tiene que ir en, con estas, eh, como es usado gramaticalmente. Okay, I will just make a little review about the verb be. Okay, let me just do, moving on this one. Okay, remember the verb be is the only one that we conjugate. Okay, the verb be it could be it's equal to am, um, is, and are. Okay, there are in three ways that we conjugate. So we can have I am, we have he is she is and it is and then we have you are we are and they are okay this is in present remember the verb needs to this verb v is irregular so in past of the verb b we have was and where okay now i am in past the verb be it will be i was he is it will be he was she is will be she was Okay, it is, it will be, it was. Now here we have a little change. You were, okay, we were, and they they were. Okay, in present, we are going to use am, am, is, and are. In past, we need to use was or where. Is it clear? Está claro? Yes? No? So, yes. so? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, if you see this sentence, somebody cleans the room every day. So this one is in present, right? So the passive voice needs to be in past. So the room is clean. If you see, we use the verb B 
be in present, but the other verb needs to be in the past participle. What does it mean? That we need to use, excuse me, that we need, we need to use this list. In this case, this column, okay? This column, okay? That's the only one that we are going to use. Okay, now, if you see the verb B is in present, but we have the regular verb. As I mentioned yesterday, regular verbs, we add ED at the end. Acuérdense que solo los verbos regulares vamos a agregarle ED al final, right? Los verbos irregulares, que es la lista que les mostré anteriormente, son los que cambian eh, su forma original. Algunos no cambian, pero sí cambia la pronunciación. Okay, now, in past, if you see somebody clean, we're talking about past. Clean the room yesterday. Now, the passive boy should be, the room was clean yesterday. If you see, we use was, as we have here. Okay. ¿Hay alguna pregunta por el momento? Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Um, sí. ¿Se puede usar eh, en esta misma oración? ¿Se puede usar eh, el where? Por decirlo así. Si es en pasado. Room, where, no. Clean, en, en el caso de, en, acuérdense, room es singular. Ajá, Entonces, sería rooms. En, si, en, si vamos a utilizar where, en ese caso sería rooms. The rooms uh -huh. were clean yesterday. Uh, y la clean. activa sería somebody clean the rooms. Acuérdense uh -huh. que... Siempre usando el plural. Sí, that's right. Okay. Acuérdense que para utilizar la voz pasiva es porque necesitamos eh, enfatizar quién recibe la acción. Right? Very good. Okay, now we have this one. If you see, Did we you have... Know? Yes. Yes, Carlos. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo distingo cuando es un verbo regular de un irregular? Ok, en ese caso tiene, okay. que, tiene que aprenderse la, los verbos que son irregulares. Eh, obviamente no nos vamos a aprender. I'm sorry for that. Let me just go back to this. Obviamente para ahora y mañana no nos vamos a aprender todos estos verbos. O sea, con el uso, con la práctica... With the practice, you can uh, uh, learn it. Okay, lo que puede hacer es aprenderse dos verbos diarios, por decirle algo. You can do it. For example, we can say something like this one. Become, in present, became, and become. Si usted se fija, become es en present y become es el pasado participio. Ok, con esto hay que tener cuidado. Eso es a puro, como decirle, a pura memoria. Hay que memorizarlos. Los que no están en esta lista, obviamente son los verbos regulares que solo se le agregan ed al final. That's the only way. Ok. Let's move on to this one. Ok, we are going to see just some examples and then we move to the exercises. Ok, uh, we have... Butter is made from milk. If you see, we have the verb be and we have the past participle of this one. In this case, this is an irregular verb. Orange, yes, are imported into Canada. This is regular, okay? Now, we're talking about in plural, so that's why we use are. In este caso, lo podemos clasificar in ellos. Right? How often are these rooms clean? Okay, if you see, we use are because we're talking about rooms. Okay? And it's not necessary who does the action. To mention who does the action. Pero en el, en el caso que nosotros necesitemos utilizar o decir quién hizo la acción, Podemos incluir la preposición by. Por ejemplo, 
uh, who thought who was thought the class okay que enseñó la clase okay the class was thought by Francisco if you use by you mention the name or the person probably uh, it's probably that you don't want to mention the name but just the person right so for example the room the room was clean by my brother i didn't mention the name but i mentioned a person who does the action okay so let's move on to this and i will oh. just just erase this one let me Okay. The, the, the last pick, please. Mm, let me, okay. Let me just do this one or this one. Esta. Yeah, this. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Let me know. Permítame que estoy okay. copiando. No sé si le puede tomar alguna captura de pantalla. Después se me olvida hacerlo. Por eso o, es que lo estoy haciendo. O, o, no, no hay problema. Yo, yo se lo puedo, yo lo puedo subir a esta, esta, esta foto es un PDF. La puedo subir a la, a la plataforma o se la puedo mandar. De eso no, no hay problema. Ya, ya puede cambiar. Gracias. Okay, welcome. Okay, now let's move on to this one. What we're going to do, eh, tomen la captura de pantalla, por favor, y vamos a trabajar en grupos. We are going to work in groups. Let me know when you um, make the capture. dicen para uh, hacer los grupos. I did it, teacher. Okay, uh, what about the rest? Okay, let's move on. I will uh, stop sharing this one. Let's move on uh, to uh, the rooms. Okay, let me just do Okay, let me see. Okay, let's move on to this. Okay, okay, uh, Andres, Julia, Mariela, and Dora. So what we're going to do is exercise number one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we have the example. We need to order this sentence and we need to use the verb be and the past participle. Si no se acuerdan del pasado participio, 
Eh, no sé si pueden accesar a la plataforma. Ahí está la lista de los verbos eh, en la clase de ayer. Que ahora, la sub, ahora subí yo esa lista. La lista que les mostré en la presentación. Ok. Tienen que reordenar las oraciones utilizando la voz pasiva. Por ejemplo, tenemos en number one. This room clean every day. ¿Cómo a, a, a ordenamos la oración? This room Ahí vamos a utilizar el verbo be, en este caso es es. The past participle of clean is cleaned. Le vamos a agregar ed al final. Every day. Si el, la, el verbo no está en la lista que subí el día de ayer, es porque es regular. Solo se le va a agregar ed al final. Ok, tenemos número dos. How often the room clean? Ok. We have, how often is the room clean? Okay, you need to continue with that. Okay, let's do exercise number one. Okay, we'll move to another um, another group. If you have any question, let me know in the chat. Okay, guys, okay, guys, sorry if just for interrupting. Okay, you're going to do exercise number two, 19.2. Lo que vamos uh -huh. a hacer es okay. eh, number one, two, three, four, five, hasta el once. Okay, es la segunda parte. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, no, no sé si pueden mostrar la captura que tenían. Sí. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, if you see uh, number one, the room clean yesterday. Okay, básicamente son las mismas. Algunas oraciones son parecidas a las del ejercicio anterior. Por eso los he puesto a trabajar en diferentes ejercicios. Okay, number two, lo que vamos a hacer es utilizar el verbo be en pasado. Acuérdese que es were, was, excuse me, and where. Was, where, nada más. Si ustedes se fijan en el, en, la, en, la, en el ejemplo, en the example, the room was clean yesterday. Okay, if we use see, we will use was en vez de is. Okay. Is, es, yes. Per, perdón, teacher. Mm -hmm. Significa que el, el was o el is no lo vamos a encontrar, no está aquí. Nosotros lo tenemos que poner. Sí, no ustedes lo los tienen que poner. Así es. That's right. Okay. This room was clean. Okay. Any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Si no me muevo para al otro grupo para darles indicaciones. Okay. Está muy bien. Okay, very good. Now we'll move on. Vieron la la tercera? That's wrong. That's wrong. What's painting the last month? Teacher? Yes. La tercera sería glass make con ed are from sand. Ok, la make es un verbo irregular. Ajá. Entonces sería made. Acuérdese que cuando uh, vienen los productos. Ah, es made, es, es, es ah, de e. M, um, m a t e That's Ajá. right. Entonces ese sería el pasado participio de make. Es un verbo irregular. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Glass. Made. Acuérdese que tiene que utilizar, you need to use the verb be. Ajá, may are from sand. Ok, no. antes de made, tiene que ir el verb be. Ah, uh, sería are. Acuérdese que glass, glass es singular. Are made from sand. Ok, glass is singular. Ah, pues sería glass is. Glasses. Very good. Glass is. Glass is. Glasses. Ajá, glass is uh, glass from is. sand. That's correct. Glass is made from sand. Ah, okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Solo vamos a hacer el ejercicio 1, uh -huh. que okay, de la 1 de la 1 a la 8, okay? ok? Voy a cambiarme de grupo, so I will just show very far how the rest is moving. Okay? Okay. Ahí vamos. Va, entonces, para ti, ¿cómo quedaría la tercera? Sí, porque yo creo que, que el lente viene siendo, o es lente, ¿no? Acuérdense sí. que glass no glass. necesariamente es... tiene que ser lente, es, se refiere a vidrio. Puede Ajá, ser un, un vaso. 
Ah, mira, ajá. Glass. Es diferente, diferente del contexto de que lo pongamos. De, depende oh, también okay. cómo la oración vaya ordenada. That's right. Ok. From same glass, make glass. Teacher, ¿y qué es san? O, san a, es arena. Arena. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que en este caso mm, se refiere como un tipo de reloj de arena. Uh -huh. Entonces, if you see glass, después qué iría? Sería el verbo be, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería? Is, are, o am. Tendríamos que usar esta lista, profe. Eh, depende si el verbo es irregular. Si ustedes se fijan, ahí está make. Ahí tendría que estar make, está después del por ahí, pero ahí está. Ahí está. Make close. That's right. Tienen que utilizar el de la tercera columna, que sería that's right. Entonces, si el verbo no está ahí, es porque es un verbo regular. Por ejemplo, play en la número 5, number 5. Play is a regular verb. There's no está ahí. Si no está ahí, es un verbo regular. Entonces, solo le va a agregar ED al final. ¿Estamos claros? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Más o menos, teacher. Más o menos. Ok, acuérdense después del nombre, en este caso el objeto que es glass, tienen que utilizar el verbo be. El verbo be es is, are, and am. ¿Cuál de esos tres eh, es la conjugación correcta para glass? Is, are, o am. Yo digo que quizás is. Very good. Glass is, utilizando el pasado participio del verbo make, ¿cómo sería? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya tenemos dos. Glass is. Ahora, conviertan el verbo make en pasado participio. Vayas a la lista de Gracias. los verbos. May. ¿Cuándo, ¿cuándo May? Dígame, Julia. ¿Y cuándo sabríamos que vamos a aplicar el B? Siempre va a ir en, en este tipo de oraciones con pasado, la voz pasiva siempre va a ir el B. Es regla. Siempre. Lo único que hay que saber, por eso les di un pequeño review cuando en la en la explicación de la, en la página anterior, ¿cómo se conjugaba el verbo be? I am, he, she, it, is, we, you, and they are. Entonces, en este caso, como es singular, utilizamos is, glass is, más el pasado participio del verbo, que en este caso sería made. Entonces, la oración sería, ¿cómo sería la oración, Andrés? What should be the correct sentence? Uh, glass is made. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh. Agregale lo último. From? From oh, some. Very good. That's the correct question. That's, that's the correct sentence. Glass. Ajá. Uh -huh. glass, glass is. is yes, made Andres. Mm -hmm. From sun. Glass, glass is made from sun. Okay. I, esa es la oración. Ahora, pásense la segunda. Estamos hablando de stamps. Stamps son las estampillas, right? So, ¿es singular o es plural? ¿Es singular o plural? Plural. Oh, so, si en, en la primera, uh, en la número tres, glass es singular, entonces... Utilizamos is. ¿Qué utilizaríamos aquí en el plural? Are. Very good. So, stamps. Ajá, Andrés. Lo que acaba de decir. Are. 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 Bye. Ahora tenemos el verbo sell. Sell es irregular. Búsquenlo en la, en la, en la lista ahí. Y después continúan con la oración. Ya tenemos dos partes. Stamps are. Ahora busquen el pasado participio de sell. Y 
al final de la oración iría in a post office. Okay, continue with that and I will move to another group. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Once. Okay, did you finish, guys? No, teacher. Not yet. Vamos any, por la pena la seis. Okay, any question? Alguna pregunta? En la, en la C tengo duda yo, o okay. sea, si es, yes. si es was o es where. Ok, people, where, where. yes, people is where. a plural noun. Ok, en este caso es un plural irregular. ¿Por qué? Porque person is one, right? People, two or more. Ok, en este caso, perdón, sería people, uh, are. Three people are. And the, and como es en pasado, sería where. Where, uh, okay. That's right. I will move on to the other group, so you continue with the rest of the exercises. Okay, thank you, teacher. Welcome. Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta, el was y el where, ¿en qué momento se ocupa? Okay, eso acuérdese cuando estamos hablando en pasado. Ajá. En este caso, eh, como está haciendo el ejercicio número uno, todo es en presente. El ejercicio número dos es eh, sí, en ese caso, porque estamos hablando. Acuérdense que cuando decimos ayer, hace dos semanas, hace tres días, o sea, hablamos en un punto referente al, al pasado, eh, es eh, utilizamos en este caso was o where. Pero si es eh, en la oración en presente, tiene que ir am, is, o are. Aunque el verbo vaya conjugado. Sí, el verbo siempre va a ir en pasado participio, independientemente si es en presente o en pasado. Ah, esa era mi... O sea, que yep. estas, las oraciones primeras son en presente. En presente, ¿verdad? that's right. Ah, okay. Okay. Ya no hay. Okay. Questions? Clear? Ok, very good. Did you finish? Yo ya me tomé eh, un, no estamos un... en, en number five. Number five. Ok, continue mm -hmm. with that and we'll move to another group. Ok. Number six, the machine. Mm -hmm. Ok, no sé cómo es pronunciarlo. Are in... Is in a post office. Okay. Aquí solo unimos esto, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cuál sería la primera, Doris? No, sería are, no, sold, S-O-L-D, are in post, in a post, a post office. Ok, so la, la oración correcta sería, the correct sentence, stamps are, so, so, ¿cuál es el pasado participio de sea? So, right? That's right. So, in a post office. That's it. Entonces dijo que... Star, R, so, in a post office. Ay, sí, tiene razón. Que acuérdese que Stamps es el sí, sujeto. Sí, sí, ajá, es que lo que pasa es que no había visto, es que no me estaba guiando por la primera. Ok, ah, don't worry. Ya casi la vamos agarrando. Ok, good. I will move to another group. Entonces sería Stamps, Are. Sol, Sol y... In post office, ¿verdad? Sí. Va, entonces ahora vamos con la quinta. The soccer play. Was the window sería. Sería, how, was, how the was the window broken? Was the window How okay. was the window La diez, vamos a ver. Okay, guys, very good. How was the window broken? Great. 
Ahí sería anybody were injured in the accident. Porque ninguna persona sería plural. What you is speak in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia. Okay, remember, speak is a irregular verb. Es ed, ¿verdad? Ah, ah, es irregular, no. es un verbo irregular. No sé si tienen la lista a la mano. Así no se ve, yo le tomé okay. captura. Le voy a compartir la lista. Pero me voy a mover de acá. ¿De dónde estoy? Ok, I will share this one. Ok. Let me just move on to this. No sé si la pueden ver. If you can see it. Yes. Okay. We're talking about a speak, right? Acá está. Speak. Spoke. Es, uh, no. Spoke. That is this one. A spoke is the past. Okay. Um, Vamos a utilizar... We are going to use this one. So spoken. in this case, is a spoken. Very good. So, what it? Okay, I will unshare. Voy a dejar. No sé si le pueden tomar captura de pantalla. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. Teacher, y esta la va a compartir al grupo porque no sé. Okay. Yes. Si le tomo captura, no se va a ver bien. Don't worry, I will share it. Puede maximizarla usted con su. Bueno, si está desde su teléfono, sí, pero... lo puede maximizar. Ajá, pero yo no sé. Don't worry. Porque por lo menos yo eso acabo de hacer y ya tomé captura de ambos, de ambas listas. Ok, me avisa yeah. para... Ok, yeah. very good. Ok, Thank con... you. continue and I will move on to another group. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Thank you, teacher. Welcome. So care in most content. Digo yo. A nosotros pongámonos y él nos va a decir si estamos mal. Ok, do you have any question? Una pregunta. Ahorita estamos tratando de armar la número 5. Ok, so number 5, let's move on to this. Number five says soccer play in the in most countries. Soccer is plural or singular? Singular. So we use is no. or are. Is. Okay, very good. Soccer is. Tenemos el, we have the verb play. Play is regular or is regular? Regular. So, le vamos a agregar nada más. Ed. Very good. So, ya tenemos tres partes. We have only three parts right now. Soccer. Uh -huh. Is. Is. Player. Played. Y le agregan la demás. ¿Cómo sería, nice. ¿Cómo sería la oración completa, Andrés? Soccer is played in most countries. In most countries. Very good. That's the correct sentence. Okay, continue with that and uh, I will move on to another group. No, en la cuatro, como ejemplo. These houses. Ajá, lo que pasa es que ahí no es no sería ahí. Ajá, por eso. Ajá, es que ahí es como word. una oración normal, no como una pregunta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where you about that? Porque las cinco tampoco lo tiene, las seis. Si se fija, solo las que tienen, solo inicia la, con la W, son las que tienen la... Sí, tiene razón, ahí estaba uh -huh. bien. 
Bueno, vamos a ver. Ah, no, cómo... pero mire la 10, no inicia tampoco y tiene signos, quizás es error, vea. No, pero es W y question, es guay, ¿por qué? That's right. No, la... Ah, sí, está el La 10, la 10. Ok, no number 10. Number 10 is a question. Es guay, ¿por qué? No, number 10, la 11 no. ah, no. sí. La 11 sí. Ajá, la 11 sí. La, la 10 es una pregunta también, porque siempre lleva el signo de interrogación. Exacto. Entonces, ajá, ajá. sí, acuérdense. You need to use the verb be. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, en este caso, como es pregunta, because it's a question, we need to use the verb be at the beginning of the question. Ay, lo que estaba diciendo. So, here... We use was or where? Number 10. Donde where? Is, no, okay. where? No. Anybody is. Was. Okay. Was. Anybody. En este caso, mm. the verb. Singular. Is regular or irregular? Regular. Is regular. So we add the only. Was anybody injured in the accident? That should be the correct question. Y en el caso que nadie salió, es, siempre va a ser como singular. El, anybody siempre anybody va a usar was. Siempre vamos a utilizar was. Okay. O en presente vamos a utilizar is. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. So I will give you one more minute. So I will let the other people that in one minute we are going to join to the main room. Okay. Do you have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Eso era que, que en, en el módulo anterior nos habían dicho eso de la W H question. Y que se utiliza, veía en la 5, como en la 5 que no tiene ningún tipo de, es una confirmación, no es una pregunta. Uh -huh. right. a, ahí es como sentence. La 5 sí es una, una oración, yes. And uh -huh. bicycle is still last week. So in this case, Anne's bicycle, because it's singular, we need to mm -hmm. use was. Anne's mm -hmm. bicycle was stole, because this mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. uh, stolen, excuse me. Stole is the past, stolen is the past participle. Anne's bicycle was stolen last week. Okay. That's it. Okay. okay. Good. Continue with that discussion, and we'll move on to another group. Just okay. some uh, seconds left, so uh, we're going to go to the main room, please. No más frecuencia. Es como lo de que estábamos viendo antes de de lo de frecuencias, o sea, con qué frecuencia haces algo. That's right. No, ¿Qué es lo que significa? Yes. How often? In this case, number six, this machine. No use very often, que no es usada muy seguido en este caso. Mm -hmm. Right? So it will be that. Okay. This machine is not uh -huh. very used. Is not used. Very good. Used. Used. Uh -huh. Used very okay. often. That's the correct sentence. Great. Okay. So uh, we are moving to the main room. Okay, so let's do this. If it is not, it doesn't matter if you have not finished, right? But we're going to check these sentences together. Okay, very good. So does everybody is here? A ver, sí, estamos, ahí estamos. Vamos a ver. Ya faltan unos par de segundos para que todos nos unamos al cuarto principal, al room, al main room. Okay. So before the rest join us to the uh, room, main room, is there any question or any vocabulary, or new vocabulary that you found in these sentences? or questions. Algún vocabulario nuevo para ustedes? O todo está bien? Everything is clear? The vocabulary? Teacher, tengo yes. una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, el, 
no sé si yo estoy equivocada, el dis, t, h, i, s, es en singular, ¿no? Como that's en right, externo. yes, that's okay. right. Y el dis con t, h, e, s, es lejo, lejos, no. Es cerca, cerca plural. Cerca, cerca plural. Uh -huh. That's okay. es, that's es uno, pero lejos. Lejos. Okay. Those. Those es cerca. Lejos, es pero. Lejos, plural. yes, that's right. Gracias. Acuérdense que eh, tenemos la pronunciación por, eh, casi similar. Uh -huh. This and these. Pero la pronunciación de these es como que le vibran las cuerdas vocales. Uh -huh. This, como que lo dice con un poquito de Z. This. This. Solo con S deja salir el aire. And this es el plural. Tenemos that, que es singular, pero está cerca, está lejos, perdón. En those es el plural, está lejos. Ok. Welcome. Any other question, guys? ¿Me encontraron problemas con las oraciones? No. Ok. So, let's move on uh, uh, to exercise number one. Okay, uh, those, the, the people who made the uh, exercise number one, what is number three? El ejercicio número uno, what is number three? Glasses made from sand. Okay, glasses made from sand, very good. Number four. Soccer is played in most country. Very good. Soccer is played. In este caso, is a regular verb. Soccer is played in most countries. In most number country. six. I don't know. You don't know number six? No. I don't have writing my book. Okay. So um, the people who did number six, number exercise number one. Andres? This machine is not used. No, ¿cómo se this this machine, machine uh -huh. is not. It's not. It's not used. Uh -huh. Very often. Very often. Very good. Esta máquina no se usa muy a menudo. That's right. This machine is this not, machine is not used. used. En este use. caso, use is a regular verb. Y si use, yo quisiera usar yes. used. Perdón, Andrés. Yo quisiera usar used, agregándole okay. ed. Ec no. La pronunciación es used. No, sin la, use. se, se, sin la B, D. Sin la, la E. e. Solo le, so le agrega la D. Use. Used. 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 Ok. Esa es la pronunciación de eh, cuando se escribe used, right? Is, uh -huh. This machine is not used very often. Que okay, cuando se dice rápido, casi no se, se, escucha, se escucha la pronunciación, el sonido de la D. Sí, se escucha como que solo dijera use. Ajá, that's right. Pero ahí, ahí tendría que ir. Is used. Very used. often. Oh, okay. That's correct. Now, number seven. Anybody? What language mm -hmm. is spoken uh -huh. in Ethiopia? Ethiopia. Very good. What language is spoken in Ethiopia? Very good. Number eight. What is use this machine for? What is use this machine for? Okay. Acuérdense que después del what, what? tendría que ir el verbo be. What? What is, uh -huh. what is use? What, what, what is use, use? No, use tiene que ir donde no. está. Solo tendría que agregar what, what, what is, is this machine uh -huh. used for? That's correct. What is this ah. machine used for? Okay, so the, the verb is after what? Okay, people, the what people, is yes. This machine. Use for. Use what? For. Use is the, a regular Use verb. For. 
That's correct. Okay. Okay. Now, second exercise. People who did uh, the second exercise. Number three, this room pain last month. Ooh. Jenny? Okay. Number three. Uh-huh. This room was painted last month. Painted. Painted. Okay, es Ahí dice es... painted. Painted es verbo regular. Se le agrega ed, so we use the pronunciation is painted. This room was painted last month. Number four. This house is built about 50 years ago. This house were built about 50 years ago. Very good. Number five. Anna's bicycle was stolen last week. Great. Number six. Three people were injured. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Injured. Injured. In, in, no. Injured. Injured. Very good. Solo le, le agrega la, como el acento en la I. Injured. Okay. Injured. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three people were injured in the accident. Very good. Number seven. When was this shore built? Very good. Built. Built. Okay. Con built. Al final. Con al final. Irregular. Is, that is irregular. Very good. Okay. Number eight. When was television invented? No sé si se dice así. Yes. Invented. invented. Very good. Invented. Number nine. How was the window broken? Very good. Number ten. Was anybody injured? Mm -hmm. In the accident. Very good. And the last one. Why was the letter sent to the wrong address? Very good. Why was the letter sent to the wrong address? Very good. Okay, now, entienden más o menos. Sé que necesitamos un poco más de práctica. We need to more practice on this. But uh, you do, you have, do you have the idea how to use it, the uh, passive voice? Yes, is it clear? Está claro? Okay, yes, yes. Um, yes. I need a more practice. We need more practice, of course, not a problem. Tomorrow we are going to make a review about the whole unit, okay? De toda la unidad, de las estructuras que empezamos a ver desde el lunes. We are going to check it tomorrow, okay? The, preposition, um, the gerund after a prepo uh, preposition. So we need to use the infinitive too, the passive voice, and the other thing that we uh, learned in these days before. Okay guys, so let's move on uh, to this other part. Voy a tomar asistencia en estos momentos. Remember, you can turn on your camera and say present. Okay, we have Eduardo Antonio Angel Martinez. Okay, Jenny Quesada Fernandez de Campos. Presente. Thank you. Uh, Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Okay, she's not here. Uh, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. It's not here, Monica Guadalupe Martinez Munguia. Okay, Jose Ernesto Rivera Deras. We don't have it here. Andres Oswaldo, um, excuse me, Wendy Joanna Estrada Escobar. Por ahí vi a Wendy. Quizás se salió, pero ahí estaba. Okay, eh, Andres Oswaldo Ramos Cepeda. Present. Thank you. We have Eduardo Alfredo Perez Rugamas. We have Tatiana Genoveva de Merino Flores. She's not here. Aquí estoy dicho, perdón, sí, por la pendejada. Okay, ¿con quién, con quién hablo? Eduardo. Eduardo Perez. Okay, Eduardo, Eduardo, okay. Let me just do, okay, great, here. 
Ok, tenemos a Carla Evelyn Méndez, Meléndez, excuse me, Guzmán. Present, ok. Uh, we have a uh, Erika Paulina Rivera Llanes. Uh, thank you. We have Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. Presente. Thank you. We have uh, Flor Morena Rodríguez de Morales. Flor, por ahí está. Yes. Thank you. Uh, tenemos a Carlos Emilio Contreras Romero. Thank you. Eh, Dora Ayala de López. Dora. Por favor, okay. pueden poner okay. en silencio el micrófono. No, no sé si le botó el rienzo o no. Just to... ¿Se limpió, Wallen? Okay, me tomó. Me... me tomó. Ok. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, no la podía escuchar. Ok, Dora. Thank you. We have uh, Emma Carolina Aranima Sarabia. And uh, Daniel Edgardo Álvarez Hernández. And we have Julia Carolina Monge Rodriguez. Presente. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, guys, so let's move on uh, to the presentation. Let me move on uh, to this part. Okay, let me know where you can see the the screen please can you see the screen yes teacher yes okay so what we're going to do is uh we're going due to the time we're going to discuss these questions in page number 11 the activity number one, we are going to discuss together. Eh, Todos tienen a, a su libro a la mano. Sí? Yes. Okay. So in page number 11, activity number one, the first question says, what are three personal values you transfer to your interaction with coworkers? Yes. Tell me. ¿Qué tres valores personales les enseñan ustedes, lo demuestran, no es porque les digan, mira, tenés que ser así, sino que porque ustedes son así. Ok, transfer to your interactions with coworkers. Volunteers. No. No, no, por ejemplo, puede ser... Eh, respect. Respect. Okay, very good. How do you show respect, and Jenny? No puedo decirlo en inglés. No, that's fine. Dígalo. Lo que pueda en inglés. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. When the people talk, mm -hmm. yo me callo. Eh, yes. el turno para hablar de cada persona. Y... Ok, I take, you can say, I take my turn to speak. I take my turn, turn to speak. To speak. Very good. So you wait for other people finish their thoughts or their sentences. So mm -hmm. then you participate in the conversation. Right? You don't interrupt it, right? Yes. So in that way you choose respect. Somebody else, alguien más. With responsibility. With responsibility, how do you show responsibility? Is use um, the different activities in the work. Okay. Or... Very good. Okay, so um, with different activities you do at work, so you show responsibility because your workload, el trabajo asignado, you present it on time. Lo presenta a tiempo, right? So somebody else, la última participación sobre esta pregunta. Somebody else? Uh, 
Yes. Perdón, no. teacher, sobre, sobre sí. que acá se escucha algo entrecortado. Ok, ¿se me escucha entrecortado? Al menos yo así escucho. Ok. Por rato. Ok, very good. So, probablemente es la conexión. So, this should be the connection. Ok, so... Um, let's move on to the next question. Do the company's value impact employees? And if it's yes or no, how? Si es sí, ¿en qué forma impacta los valores de la compañía? Yes, guys. Yes. Do the companies value impact employees and how? I try to do that. Okay. Uh, in our case, in this uh, case, le aparece unas letritas donde dice micrófono silenciado. Su micrófono no está silenciado. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay. I just mute. Okay, yes. Do the company's value impact employees? Yes, guys? Las letras tienen que ponerse de color blanco para que usted puede. Ok, guys, do you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Yo, yeah, teacher. Ok. Yes. Ok, very good. So, do the company's value impact employees? ¿Los valores de la compañía impactan a los empleados? ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? Por ejemplo, cada compañía tiene sus core values, los valores que ellos practican, right? For example, could be integrity, responsibility, good customer service. Okay? So, de alguna manera, eh, los valores de la compañía impactan a los empleados, right? So in the way you are, they treat you, so in the way that you are at work. Very good. Okay, vámonos a la segunda. Uh, we're going to move to the next um, activity, uh, activity number two. We we're, we having a conversation between Mario, and, Mario, excuse me, and Teresa. I will go back, I will go to the conversation. And I uh, will read all the conversation. If there are any questions about vocabulary, let me know. Okay, we have, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, uh, uh, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary? New leather, new leather. What is? Okay, so let me go back to that. Okay, and um, in qué línea estamos, eh, Erika? Which eh, line? No puedo ver la pantalla. La dejo de okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me just move Pero, on to Porque es la primera donde, donde habla Mario. Did you receive a newsletter? New, ajá, new. La primera. Newsletter es como una, yes. eh, 
carta de noticia, que como un aviso. Okay, that is a, the newsletter. La newsletter, mm -hmm. la newsletter puede ser ya sea en físico, como en, en, en papel, como un memo, o you, can, o you can receive it through email. Okay, you can receive it in both ways. Okay, any other question about vocabulary? Corn, no sé si se pronuncia así, después yes. dice newsletters. That, yes. But the core values, that is together, core values. Ah, va, core va. values means the, los valores importantes para la empresa. Okay, sí, que ellos importante. aplican. Que okay, puede ser in, integrity, responsibility, um, honesty. Okay, those are values. That's the main purpose of what the company exists. Por esos valores, la compañía existe. Okay, por ende, si tiene esos valores, la compañía tiene que aplicarlos. Right? What, what does mean core values? I don't listen. The main values of the company. Los valores principales de la compañía. Mm. Ok. Y más abajo vamos a ver el vocabulario sobre los valores. Eh, por eso en las preguntas, en la first question, says what are the values, personal values. We have respect, we have efficiency, we have loyalty, we have uh, responsibility, and some other values. Okay? Okay, so any other question? No? Teacher. Yes. Uh, um, um, Teresa, I mean, I mean, Mario, I mean, you mean, is yes. how, how, how. I mean, quiero decir. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Sí. okay. ¿Qué dices tú? No, en ese caso, I mean, quiero decir. No, arriba con Mario, what do you mean? Okay, ¿qué es lo que quieres decir? Oh, okay. ¿Qué es lo que quieres eh, como ir al punto, right? What do you mean? What do you mean? Ajá, uh -huh. I mean, lo que quiero decir o lo que quiero transmitir, we know innovation, que sabemos de innovación, efficiency and respect. Welcome, any other question? No? Okay, let's practice the conversation. We have, uh, after, after me, please repeat. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Everybody, unmute, uh, unmute your microphones porque quiero escucharlos. Okay, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. I did. I did. I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. We know innovation, service. I see your point. I see, I see your point. point. I see your point. We know about the values of the company. We know, we know about, about the values, the values of, the of the company. And uh, maybe we don't apply them. But but maybe, maybe we don't, don't apply, apply them. them. Exactly. Yes. exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. We should we leave, leave the values that make us different, different from, from, from other companies. Other company. Company. Very good. Now, I'm going to meet Mario and you're going to be Teresa. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? 
remember why we are different companies. What do you mean? I mean, I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Now we're going to reverse roles. You are Mario and I'm Teresa. One, two, three. Did you receive a letter about the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you, what mean? Do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about, about the value of the company, but maybe, maybe we don't apply them. them. Exactly. exactly. Which we show like the values, values different, those different other companies. Of the company. Okay, please repeat. Leave. 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 We should leave. We should leave. We should leave. We should leave. Very good. Now we're going to practice this one in pairs. Okay, Joe. Yes. Esa palabra me cuesta pronunciarla. What? Innovation, eficiency. Efi, efi. Efficiency. 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 Ah. Como tilde en ahí. Efficiency. Okay. Eh, you see, efficiency. Gracias. Okay, welcome. Okay, now we're going to practice this. Eduardo and Julia. Eduardo will be Mario, Julia, Teresa. Did you, did you receive a Nestle about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea. 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 Idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? What do I, you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficient. See, efficiency. Efficient, efficiency and respect should be part of our customer service. Very good. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't. Exactly. Okay, Eduardo, continue. We show we show leave the values that make is different from other companies. Very good. Okay, now Carla and Joel. Joel will be Mario and Carla will be Teresa. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different for, from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company but maybe, maybe we don't apply them. We should like the values that make us different from other companies. Very good, remember it's live. Live, live is lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. We are live, live. estamos en vivo. Okay. Live is de vivir. We should live. We should live, very good. Okay. The values that make okay, us different thank you. from our companies. Welcome. Uh, very good, guys. And then uh, Tatiana and Jenny. Tatiana, Mario, and uh, Jenny will be uh, Teresa. Okay. Well, 
did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We shall leave the values that make you different from other companies. Very good. Make us. Make us. That is, el U.S. is us. Make us. Very good. Okay, then uh, we have Carlos and Maritza, please. Carlos will be Mar Mario and Marisa will be Teresa. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember we, why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We can know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should like the values that make us different from our other companies. Okay, very good. Remember, it's apply. Apply, apply, leave, and make us. Okay, make us. Make okay. us, leave. Punto, o sea, es como una sola pronunciación. Es one pronunciation, make us. Como que se une. El make y el as, make us. Okay, very good. Okay, and the last one, uh, Andres, Mario, and Erika will be Teresa. Okay. Uh, did you receive a newsletter about the uh, core values of the company? I did. It's great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. Uh, what do you mean? I mean with no innovation, efficiency, efficiency. If efficiency and respect should be part of customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make you uh, different from other companies. Very good. That make us different from other companies. Okay, ¿quién me falta? Todos ya participamos. Todos estamos, right? Okay, very good. Okay, I will unshare this one. And I will share the presentation that we have here. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next section. Okay, we're going to move on to the discussion. The discussion is about the questions that we have in the, below the conversation. We have the prayer word, discuss the answers to the questions below. So in this case, we're going to discuss this together. Activity number three. The first question, what is the strategy that Teresa and Mario, Mario's company used to promote its core values? Okay, ¿cuál sería la respuesta a esa pregunta? What is the strategy? Innovation, okay. efficiency, and Innovation, respect. efficiency, and respect. Very good. 
Are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's value? In that case, if it's yes, how? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta a esa pregunta? Show la leave the okay. values that make the front different from other companies. That's correct. So Teresa mentioned that the, the core value should be part of the lives. Okay. So in Mario explained that they should be, uh, those values make that company different from other ones. Very good. Okay, do you have any questions regarding this? No hay alguna pregunta sobre estas eh, preguntas o respecto a la conversación? No. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, teacher. Y ahí que le dice este, que probablemente sí conozcamos de los valores, pero que no los apliquemos. ¿Cómo así? Como este, arriba en la conversación le dice. Mm. No sé si. Ok, I will share that one. Let me share Mario. this. And I will share. And then they say, I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply, apply, apply them. Okay, I see um, in that part, I see your point. Uh, we know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Ahí lo que le quiere decir que sí saben de los valores de la empresa, que la empresa promueve, pero probablemente, that's what it says, but maybe we don't apply them. ¿Por qué? Probablemente no lo apliquen, porque acaban de recibir la newsletter o la carta de aviso sobre los values. Probablemente esas, esos empleados es, sean nuevos. Aunque en el training, al menos cuando yo he ido a trainings, cuando, por ejemplo, en la empresa que donde estoy, del call center, so en el training nos dicen los valores, la misión, visión y los valores de la empresa. Cosa que es muy diferente que se nos olviden. Que si los apliquemos, los podemos aplicar sin saber. Pero just, that's what it says. No okay. sé si respondí la pregunta, Andrés. Sí, sí, de hecho. Ok, very uh, good. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Ok, let's move on uh, to the next part. Let's move on to this part. We have these values. Efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, and responsibility. What do you understand by efficiency, guys? ¿Qué es lo que entiende por eficiency? Cumplir, cumplir las metas. Con una eficiencia. So you, up, you um, comply with your workload. Ok. A veces dependiendo de, de lo que hacemos en el trabajo. Eh, así es. Por ejemplo, a veces nos asignan un trabajo por decirle algo algunos archivos que revisar o algún papeleo que revisar y lo quieren para ahora en la tarde. So they need it for today's afternoon. So con la eficiencia, so cumplimos con la meta que se nos ha puesto. O con los tiempos de presentar reportes. In case you present reports. So I need a report uh, on Monday. Okay, so you are in the content department, so you need to give the report on Monday at the first time of the day, right? So that is efficiency. What is in, yes? Podría ser work on time, como trabajar a tiempo. Very good, work on time, very good. Now, innovation, what do you understand by innovation? Create. Okay, so create, so you create new things. Okay, mm -hmm. como reinventar, right? So you can yeah. innovate that. So you can reinventar. What is respect? Where you understand respect? 
Hmm. We'll just pick one by one. Yes, what do you understand by that? Respect. Okay, for example, you can show respect even though you don't like the opinion, but you listen that opinion. Okay, aunque no le guste la opinión de la otra persona, pero la escucha. O sea, no esté de, no esté de acuerdo, es muy cosa suya, pero demuestra respeto. Listen to that opinion. Okay, very good. Punctuality. How do you show punctuality? Use star work in the all and <laughs> go put them on time. Figure. On time. Okay. On time. In, the, the, diff, on in time. different ways. So you have a date. Okay, si tienen alguna cita, you be on time. Okay, some minutes before the date is. Okay, you show uh, punctuality when you uh, present the report on time. Okay, it could be in efficiency and also punctuality because you are punctual. You give that or handing in that report in a time in, in a timely manner okay like uh teacher yes uh, in the punctuality like a uh, uh, out service yes also you can uh, um be punctual with your service also you be on time so, or out service um out of office yes you, of company. you can you you can be inside the office or inside a company and outside the company so it doesn't matter in that case okay okay now service to others how do you um what do you understand by safe service to others ¿Qué es lo que entienden, eh, ustedes, o infieren para service to others <laughs> yes Otro servicio que pudiéramos prestar. Okay, it's kind of that in this case when we help other people. Cuando ayudamos a otras personas. For example, in a it's call center, true. in a call center, so let's make a one once again the example of Tigo. No es que me guste Tigo o le esté haciendo promoción, right? Mm -hmm. Sino que es, se me acaba de venir a la mente el, el nombre. Okay, so when you call to the call center, so there is another person on the phone, right? You ask for a service, okay? Or ask to solve an issue that you have with the service. Entonces esa persona le ayuda a resolver el El, el problema que tiene si en dado caso esa persona puede hacerlo that's what is serve it to others help people with issues or with problems that is service to others very good what about integrity how do you show integrity integrity don't lie okay we don't lie especially at work when you respect the times for example yo muestro integridad al empezar la clase a las 8 y finalizarla a las 10 we just have an schedule si yo la finalizo unos minutos antes 5 10 15 minutos antes i don't show integrity to that so i don't i lie to my to my boss or to my other company that I work for. Okay, now loyalty. How do you show loyalty? Uh, yes. Teacher, loyalty is like a realidad. No, loyalty is como ser leal. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, that is loyalty. Ser leal, la lealtad. ¿Qué pasa si eh, 
en la mayoría de compañías, más que todo en los call centers, y le hablo de los call centers porque yo casi tengo más de 10 años de estar trabajando en, los, en el área de los call centers. So, siempre hay una cláusula de que si usted se pasa a otra compañía, no puede llevar o no, no puede eh, disclosed. So, disclose es eh, advertir a la otra compañía qué es lo que hace okay, para realizar su trabajo. Okay, so that is loyalty because even though you don't work for that company anymore, but you don't need to uh, release information of um, sensitive information to that other company. Very good. And responsibility. How do you show responsibility, guys? How do we show responsibility? ¿Cómo mostramos responsabilidad? Yes. Maritza, how do you show responsibility? Um. Make the activities on time. Okay, make the activities on time. Very good. Just in that way you show responsibility. ¿Qué otros dos valores? What other two values can we add to that chart? ¿Qué otros dos valores podemos agregar? Yes. Is there no any other value that you can add to this? Eh, equidad, no sé cómo se diría. Equality? That is equality. Okay, any other? Honesty. Honesty. Hon honesty. Very good. Be honesty. Okay, very good. Now, let's complete this exercise, number five. And let's do this together. For example, I apply punctuality when I get my job on time. Number two, when I welcome to customers to the store, I show. Mm -hmm. When I welcome the. Uh, to respect. I show respect. Very good. Okay, number three. Mm -hmm. Res responsibility. Responsibility. Very good. Responsibility is to accept your mistakes and their consequences. Number four. I show efficiency. efficiency when I finish my duties on time. Very good. Number five. Innovation. I show, okay, number five, I suggest a creati uh, creative solution to my team. I apply innovation, very good. And number six, when I offer help to customers, I demonstrate service to others. Very good, guys, very good. Do you have any questions about vocabulary? No questions about vocabulary? No, no? Okay, so I will uh, pass. Okay. Yes. Mistake. Uh, significa este in a, in truth is to accept your mistake. Your mistakes son los errores. Okay. Accept your mistakes. O sea, los errores que cometemos okay. y por ende, bien, por los errores vienen consecuencias. So okay. consequences Thank are the consequences. Okay, very good. I will pass attendance once again. Okay, because it's required, Eduardo. 
Antonio Ángel Martínez. It's not here. Okay. Let me just to move on to the people. Kenny Alexandra. She's this didn't appear today. Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. Eh, Monica Guadalupe Martínez. Jose Ernesto Rivera. Wendy Joanna. Estra, no, Wendy, Wendy we have here. Wendy, Wendy por ahí estaba. Sí, ¿verdad? So, Tatiana uh, Penoveva de Merino, Flores. Okay, very good. Yes. You were here. Okay, and uh, we have, okay, the rest of the people we here. Only there are missing one, two, three, four, five out of 20. So we are 15 right now. Okay, thank you guys. So we continue with that. And we continue with the last part, okay? Uh, we are going to move, and uh, we are going to share this one, and I will share the PowerPoint presentation that we have here. Okay, let me just move on to this. Okay, so you're going to do is prepare a mini presentation about the impact of the core values of your company and personnel. You have to include five values. Okay, no es necesario incluir five values. Okay, solo hacer como una mini presentation about that. Eh, lo podemos hacer, eh, es individual. Okay, le voy a dar cinco minutos let's say five minutes, you can uh, ask me questions if you have. Y si no terminamos de presentar el día de ahora, vamos a terminar de hacer las presentaciones el día de mañana. So, lo que quiero es que hagan es una mini presentación de un minuto, dos minutos. So, no es necesario tanto eh, que escriban. So, tienen que incluir. Need to talk about the impact of the core values of your company, okay? Of your company and personal. Aquí me faltó la R. Es un mistake. Aquí, values of your. Aquí tiene que ir R al final. So I'm sorry for that. Um, of your company and personal. Okay, tienen cinco minutos a partir de ahorita. Y si hay preguntas, me las hacen. Voy a apagar todos sus micrófonos, por favor, para que escriban uh, la mini presentación. Y si hay tiempo, la presentamos. Si no, la seguimos, la vamos a presentar el día de mañana.
Okay, guys, remember, if you have questions, please ask me. Teacher. Yes. Yes. ¿Cómo podríamos decir confianza? Uh, we can say confidence. Confidence. That's correct. Pero cómo, uh, how do you um, want to make the sentence? ¿Cómo quieres hacer la oración? It depends on that. Okay. We get the confidence. Yes. You can say we get the confidence. Confidence. Yes. Confidence, the people. We can, in that case, you can say we can trust in the people. We can trust people. Confiamos en las personas. Yes, we can trust. We can trust. Y trust que no es verdad. Yes, no. pero en la, como depende del contexto también. It depends on the context. You can say no. I can trust you. I can trust you. You yeah. confío. Oh. Yes. So you can okay. say, I can trust people. Oh. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Um, um, respectuosa, como diría respectful? Respectful. Yes. Respectful. Respectful, yes. Oh. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Cumplimiento. You comply. Comply. That is C O M P L Y. Eh, core values son, es valores principales, algo así. That's correct. The core values son los, los, los valores principales de la compañía. Okay. So okay. the main values. Thank you. Mm
Okay, guys, so we are going to stop the activity. Sé que todavía no han terminado. Lo pueden terminar el resto de ahora o si no, el día de mañana. Mañana lo vamos a leer. ¿Qué es lo que han escrito? Eh, si, if you need help, please, uh, ya les di mi correo. So you can um, send me an email or you can write to the uh, platform, right? So you can do that. Okay, let's move on uh, to the last activity that we have. Uh, we supposed to do this in groups, but we don't have enough time to do it. So we're going to do as a whole group, right? So what do you learn in today's class? What we covered in today's class, guys. ¿Qué es lo que aprendimos ahora? The Passy Boys. Okay, we continue with the Passy Boys. What else? Core values. The core values. Can you list two values? Pueden darme dos valores de los que se acuerden, de los que tienen ahí notados. Efficiency. Respect, efficiency. Okay, and some others. Very good. Now we're going to, um, is there any other question that you have? For example, in los departamentos que ustedes eh, trabajan, so what are the values uh, that you have as department? Okay, values we have as a whole company, but values in the department. Remember, you have a boss, okay, you need to report to. What are the values that the boss shows you? ¿Qué son los valores que su jefe les muestra? O les pide que ustedes muestren. Permanent empathy. Okay, empathy. Very good. Empathy. Okay, permanent empathy. You can uh, have empathy to uh, others people. So what is empathy? When you show respect or you put in the other's oh, shoes, other people's shoes, right? So if somebody is, is sad or so you leave that sad. If somebody's health is, is happy, excuse me, you leave that happy, okay? That happiness. Very good. So what else, guys? ¿Qué más aprendimos el día de ahora? Yes. What else? The use of was um where? Okay, so when we use was or where, very good. What else? Verb be. The verb be. Remember, the verb be is in present is uh, am is an are, and the past is was and where what else remember the list that i posted in the platform la lista que posté en la plataforma solo es para los verbos irregulares remember those are irregular verbs only regular verbs we are ed at the end los verbos regulares siempre se le agregan ed por ende si los verbos que no están en esa lista, obviamente son verbos regulares. Okay, guys. So what else do you remember? Vocabulary. What is the vocabulary that you remember? Core values. Okay, core values. Efficiency. Efficiency, very good, Jenny. What else? Often. Often, very good. Newsletters. Newsletters. Mistake. Mistake. Okay. Good. It's customer. Okay, customer. Okay, very good. Yesterday too. Yesterday too. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have 10, 10, 1. That is 10. We pass one more minute. Okay, before uh, finishing the class. So do you have any question? Any concern? 
Any doubt? Alguna pregunta? Alguna duda? Alguna queja? Uh, yes. The other week, uh, are classes? No. Next week we are going to have we are going to have vacation. So tomorrow is the last class. Then uh, we come back on. Let me just to see the calendar here. I think that is the 10. Let me just to move on. Yes, Monday the 10, we have class number six. Okay, tomorrow will be the last class for July. Then we come back on the August the 10th. Okay, acuérdense. Los que pueden accesar a la plataforma, accesen. Ya uh, los que postearon los ejercicios que les dejé la vez pasada del, um, del Infinitive en in ING Form, ya les puse ahí en los comments. Solo dos personas han posteado. Es necesario que se metan a la plataforma para eso es, les ayuda en su aprendizaje. Okay. Yes. The core values is the homework for tomorrow. Yes, la la presentación que the presentation that we made in the previous activity, so we are going to present it tomorrow. Okay. It's okay. The homework, verdad? Yes, it's a homework for that. Acuérdense meterse a la plataforma, los que puedan meterse, los que tienen acceso. Yo sé que algunos no, pero ya se va a resolver el problema. Eh, tienen que interactuar ahí. Este video, this video will be uploaded tomorrow. So, mañana voy a postear algo bajo este video. Please, please check it. Y hagan las tareas de la plataforma también. Después del video, hay otra pestaña. There is another tab that it says homework o tarea. Okay. Algunos no pasan de cinco o seis ejercicios. Ok. Please do it. Si tienen preguntas sobre eso, please feel free to contact me, right? Okay, guys, do you have any question before we finish? No hay porque no hay preguntas o no hay porque ya nos queremos ir a dormir. Okay, guys, if there's no questions, see you tomorrow night, right? Have a great rest of the night. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Welcome. Bye -bye.